The Good Egg and his pals have plenty of differences but share one thing in common. Every weekend, the entire carton loves to play the Great Eggscape. This is when the eggs escape their carton and drop into the store for a morning of fun, enjoyed by everybody. Well, almost everyone enjoys it. Shell, an egg, isn't much of a fan of group activities, especially when he's made to be it for a game of hide and seek. Hello, adventurers. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your magical host, Francesca, but you can call me Franny. Today, we have a wonderful adventure for you. We will be reading The Great Eggscape by the talented Jory John. I'm excited to find out what the good egg and his buddies are up to now. Are you ready to begin? Let's go. Howdy, I'm Shell, an egg. How's it going? It's just me today. I'm on my own. The other eggs, where are they? Good question. The thing is, sometimes they leave the carton on weekends before the customers arrive. They escape into the store. They call it the Great Eggscape. Escape, eggscape, you get it. Me? I'm not really in the mood to run around if you want to know the truth. I'd rather just sit here. I don't mind a little me time. No reason to go frolic with everybody else. I prefer adventures of the imagination. It's quite peaceful here without all the other eggs. Sure, there's a part of me that wonders what they're doing right this very moment. I have a few guesses. Right this very moment. We! Yay! Ah! Uh, we look amazing! So festive! Let's play a game! Everybody pick a good hiding spot. Great idea. Shell will have to come find us. He won't know where we are. I'm behind a tomato. I'm next to the avocados. I'm blending with the potatoes. Ha 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 ha! What's so funny about that? Being a potato is serious business. Ah, this is the life. When you live in a carton with a lot of roommates, you never get much peace and quiet. So I'm going to enjoy this while it lasts. Exactly two hours, 36 minutes, and two seconds later. Hmm, nobody's back yet? Where are Clegg and Meg and Peg and Egbert and Greg and Shelby and Shelly and Sheldon and Frank and other Frank? Did I forget anybody? Anyways, they should have been home by now. These great eggscapes are usually over by lunch when everybody gets hungry. I'll just wait a few more minutes. They'll surely be home quite soon. No reason to stress. No reason to pace. No reason to get all worked up. Noon! It's noon! Morning is officially over. Okay, now I'm getting nervous. Where are my friends? Are they okay? Should I go look for them? But what if they come home while I'm away? I just don't know what to do. <laughs> Meanwhile... <laughs> I must find them. Where do I start? Maybe in aisle one. That seems promising. Pickles, pickles, pickles. It's all pickles. Sheesh. Wait, Greg, is that you? What are you doing by those pickles? And why are you painted like a galaxy in outer space? I'm hiding. But why? Why not? Well, I found you. Indeed you did, Shell. Indeed you did. Shall we look for the others? Indeed. Found you. Found you. There you are. Found you. Is that everybody? Line up, eggs. Let's see. We have you and 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 you. That's 10 eggs plus me, which equals 11. Hmm. Wait, just a minute. Where's Meg? Has anybody seen Meg? Ma! Wait, where are you guys going? To get some lunch, Shell. Then maybe take a nap. Hide and seek is tiring. Meg will turn up eventually. She always does. Eggs, halt! As the old saying goes, if a fellow egg is hiding, we must look until we find them. Or maybe that's a new saying. Anyway, we're not finished until we're all back together as a dozen. Got it? Good! Let's go! Greg, search the high shelves! Peg, check the low shelves! Clegg, don't forget the middle shelves! Sheldon, look through that bag of marshmallows! Shelby, comb aisle 5! Egbert, investigate aisle 6! Me, I'll scour the discount aisle! Meg has got to be around here somewhere! Shell! Shell! I found a note by the cash register! It might be a clue! Well, read it, Greg! Okay, okay, you don't have to yell! If you want to find an egg, just like a pot of gold, go where things are sold in bulk and look for something bold. It was a clue shell. 
I mean, it is a clue. Indeed, Greg. Indeed. Hmm. Bulk. Bold. Bulk. Bold. Bulk. Wait, I think I've got it. Follow me, eggs. To the bulk bin aisle. Onward. Wow, there are just so many bins. But which one is the right one? How would we know? Um, Shell, remember how the clue said to look for something bold? Do you think Meg is hiding in there? Of course, Peg. Of course. Eggs, shoulder stack, unite. <laughs> knock, knock. We know you're in there, Meg. Oh, hi. I thought you were never going to find me. Nice work, Shell. Glad you found your way out of the carton, for once, and into the world. Thanks, Meg, but it wasn't just me. We found you as a group, and now we're back together again. Phew, you know, looking for eggs is fun. Finding eggs is more fun, but the most fun of all? A chance to frolic with your friends. Say, when's the next great eggscape? Shall we do this again tomorrow? And that, explorers, is the story of the great eggscape. We learned that sometimes trying to escape from our problems can lead to even bigger trouble. But by working together, being patient, and using our creativity, we can overcome any challenge that comes our way. Remember, just like the eggs in the story, each of us is unique and valuable. We all have different talents and strengths that we can use to help each other out. So, the next time you're faced with a difficult situation, think about how you can work together with others to find a solution. Thanks for joining me for this egg-siding adventure. If you enjoyed the story, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Until next time, stay curious, keep exploring, keep reading, and keep cracking those problems with kindness and teamwork. Bye for now!